Eric Mwathers, Mwathers.com. Let's take a look at GM's two-year weekly chart. We see some type of resistance here. And now we've been pulling back over the last two, three weeks. Where could this resistance come from? Now, obviously, we can see that the price was being tested or the previous weekly closing highs were being tested. And we can see here that GM has failed to break out above 2017's weekly closing high there. We tried to break out here. We failed. We rolled over. We come here. We failed last week or a couple of weeks ago. We fail again here. And now we're already beginning the process of rolling over. So obviously there's price resistance around the 44 and a half price range. Now, if you take a look at the RSI, there's a couple of indications that this level here was going to be problematic or there was going to be some challenge for GM. If you take a look at this line here, actually let me draw it again. And what we see here is this is a recent pullback area. We break below here. Come off those highs. Of course, we get a down tick. Now, what we can do is extend the same line. And you see that at the highs of 2018, we've come here, we hit this level, and now we're already coiling back. So the RSI was also indicating resistance. And what we see is that there's a break here. Go back to this break point. Corresponding with this pullback of those highs. Keep in mind we had already seen intraday highs there. So that break point in the RSI, we can draw a line like this. Now you see we came and tested this at the beginning of 2018 and failed. Which is the weekly closing high there. And we try to break out above the red line. We stalled, which is the current weekly closing highs for mid-2018. So yes, there was price resistance. But we also see that the RSI was telegraphing that this recent highs in the stock here was going to be a challenge based on these two lines on the weekly RSI. Eric Moade with Moade.com. Always be on the lookout for hidden resistance or unseen resistance. Peace and blessings. E-A-C-S.